You probably noticed that when you go into your action list, you have a long list of actions to choose from. And sometimes that can be really difficult to find what you're looking for. In this week's episode of Working With Drafts, I'm going to show you a great little trick that you can use that will help you to organize your actions a lot simpler. Hello and welcome to another edition of Working With Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how you can organize your action scripts in a lot easier or simpler way. Now I'm just going to point out right now that this is a premium users version. I will do a free version users uh, video next week but I just wanted to focus on for those people who've invested their $20 per year into drafts I want to give you some quick things that you can set up right now and this is one of those brilliant ones that really helps you to speed up drafts because it allows you to organize your action scripts by using what they call separators. Anyway that sounds very confusing I'm going to take you into drafts in a second before I do that though I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video please help me by hitting that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to keep learning about drafts as we go through over the next few weeks then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let's go into drafts and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so now we're back in my mobile device version of Drafts. So this is the pro version of Drafts. So unfortunately, those of you who are using the free version, you cannot uh, do what I'm about to show you. So if you're not prepared, if you're not going to go for that $20 a year uh, subscription fee, then maybe you don't need to watch any further. Anyway, what you'll notice here is in my frequent uh, list I have things separated so I've got to appear productivity up at the top I've got Evernote and then I've got messages and misc now by the way you'll notice that I've actually got a lot of Todoist in here the reason being is is I discovered that the Todoist version I was using which I'm going to delete this one yep I'm going to delete that one to so delete that action I wanted to create the multiple tasks in Todoist and what that means is is that as I hit the the return key is going to actually bring up the each individual uh, new action. But anyway, that's it. So I've got my productivity ones up at the top here. Then I've got my Evernote general ones, and then I've got messages, and then I've got my email. And you'll see that I've got these as separators. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, how did you do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, no, that's not the best one. Let's go into the keyboard. Okay, we're going to the keyboard basic because this one is a bit of a mess. Or do I have a, uh, let's have a look. oh yes, okay, this is, the, this is the one that you probably have and it's all set up like this and it looks like a complete mess. So what you can do is if you go down to the plus button on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the plus next to the select, hit that and you're going to get a few options and the first one is add new action which is not what we're doing this week and you're going to see add new separator. If you tap that now you've got a separator. So I'm going to put productivity like this. So we've got productivity and that's now I'm going to turn the ringer off because that's just going to turn the noise off, I should say. Uh, and that's going to go done. So I have down at the bottom now productivity and I can just grab that and I can drag this up near the top. Let's just move this right up to the top like that. And I'm going to put like that. Oh, so I'm going to move this one right to the very top. So I've got task in Todoist, new note, and I'm going to look down save to Evernote. So let's move that one up there and let's have a look. Um, so that's one. OK, and then let's create another one. Uh, so add new separator and I'm going to call this uh, cloud and done. I'm going to move that one up to the top. So you just grab it and you just move it to the top like this. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to move that one down there. So we can actually move things, save files, tour. So we'll move that one up there. By the way, I've got none of these are set up, uh, but I'm just wanting to show you uh, how you can actually do this. And let's see, save files as. Let's move that to there. We've got a Dropbox one. So save to Dropbox and append to a Dropbox. Okay, we've got journal ones. So let's move that save to Dropbox there. Like that and then let's create another one and we'll call this journal so journal 
because there's a lot of journal ones there. So done the journal and again go down to the bottom, pick it up and move it up here. Let's get it going up. There we go. We, we've got to go up to the top like this. So down there. And so we've got a cloud journal, so you can move that underneath there. And we've got another pen to Dropbox journal. There we go. And a pen to an Evernote journal. So we have a lot of options. So what you can do is you can create as many of those as you wish. And again, like I say, this is only for the premium versions, the people who are paying the $2 a month or whatever it costs. Um, but it actually means that you have uh, a way of separating it. And again, it can help you to speed up when you send items to wherever you want them to send them to, whether it's OneNote or Evernote or Todoist or whichever Dropbox or uh, OneNote or whatever your OmniFocus, I noticed, Twitter, whatever you want to do, you can create them. So again, I can create one for like social media. Um, so we can type in social media and we can create that one. And again, if you go down to the bottom, you can just drag it up and get it where you want it. Let's move it up here a bit and then down there. And we can actually now, you know, you can move your Twitter stuff there um, and wherever else you want to do. So there's a lot of things that you can do and you can create within drafts just to make things a lot faster for yourself. Okay, hopefully that's given you another idea that you can do to help organize your drafts. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.